tell you, I'm not sure we should be talking. This pretty much speaks for itself right here. There you see him driving by what's left of the Shauna Robinson car after she was involved in an accident in turn one in the last lap scramble to the finish. But it is Lyndon Amick from South Carolina in the Ken Schrader Racing entry here. He has scored the victory, his first in the ARCA series. He came here to get some super speedway experience for his NASCAR Busch Series program. I'd say learning how to win is a pretty good thing. November of 1997 said he felt better this week than he's felt in two years the double vision the headaches are gone he said I am back to being the kind of driver that won three ARCA championships 
Tim Steele, less than a quarter of a mile away from getting his first win in two years. An ARCA competition comes out of turn four and will take the checkered flag to win the Flagstar 200. Jay Earnhardt comes across in third, Brian Ross in fourth. Watches these cars come across the line. Never see straight, Brenner, Newman, Burroughs, Woodland, Venturini, and John Herb goes back to the 11th position. One more corner, there's Kerry's wife, Renee. Just waiting through turn number three now, that flat road course style turn, RPMs drop way down. Didn't love them sweeps out wide coming off mm -hmm. towards the checkered flag, Eli. And another Earnhardt goes to victory lane. Kerry Earnhardt wins here at Pocono. Mike Swaim Jr. finishes second. Pardis is third. Then Ed Barrier and Frank Kimmel. That's the top five. The 11th different driver to win at a Pocono Arca event. Number two did the job. Kerry Earnhardt wins. What is he thinking right now, buddy? Uh, let me tell you, this is the biggest day of his life. He, he's won on other divisions, but he's never won in this type of car. I, I can't wait to see his face, because let me tell you, this is the ugly duck when it finally turned to the swan. This is Bear Ben where Newman has been better than straight the last several times. Here he goes, straights up the racetrack. Newman to the no, inside. They catch. Here goes straight spinning around the corner. Bob Straight spins out after contact from Brian Newman. Hard into the inside guardrail. What happened there was Ryan had his foot in the throttle as they started through one there. He got up there, lost the front end, and got into Bob Straight. That is a shame. The point leader has crashed, racing for the win with three laps to go. Caution is out. And by the urgency with which he seems to want to get out of the car, I would say he's more than a little bit upset right now. Well, they both went in there. He went up the racetrack. Ryan Newman, you can see the right front corner. Newman's car there, got some damage to it. Caution is out. Newman is across, two laps to go. I believe the race is going to finish under the yellow flag because there wouldn't be enough time to restart it. They had, would have had to have given him the one to go that time. So Newman is going to end up winning the race under caution after he and Bob Strait made contact racing for the lead in turn number one with three laps to go. But I will tell you that he led a lot of laps today, gained a lot of experience, and he's going to win the race. And, and uh, we've seen contact by many, many race car drivers here at Pocono on the last lap. Brian Newman led four different times for 40 laps. He obviously had the fastest car in today's race. In just his second ARCA start, he's going to go to victory lane. Checkered flag is up, and Ryan Newman wins the Pepsi ARCA 200 at Pocono under caution. It'll be Kerry Earnhardt finishing second, Frank Kimmel third, Tim Steele will get fourth, Mike Swain Jr. will take fifth position. You look as Don Miller and some of the other Penske Racing members congratulate each other. They'll be celebrating in the winner's circle shortly with Ryan Newman, who scores the victory today. In many, many years, and Earnhardt seems to always know exactly what to do in this situation. Bobby Gerhardt said he had a feeling he was going to have a good day, may get a win, and that car number five pushing, pushing the competition, trying to get in the top five. There they come. And one car in the wall, the 73, that's Ed Curtis out of Brook Park, Ohio, in the Jim Curtis Racing Chevrolet. And the caution flag is out. So the caution being shown with just a handful of laps and less than five laps to go. Sure has the appearance of a right front tire going flat. Boy, well, pretty hard impact. See the right side of that car is caved in about eight or ten inches where he has had some pretty significant impact with the concrete wall. 
Talking about the car number 73, Ed Curtis. That will bring out caution for the ninth time today. And he was running in 12th spot on the lead lap. Ed Curtis was. Kirk Shelmerdine, who also had a Yates engine. Ernie Elliott power there for Tim Steele. And here he comes down, waving now out that left side window. What a great crowd on hand today at Talladega under beautiful clear skies and the checkered flag waves for the second time this year and third time in his career for 26-year-old David Key, who wins the Winn-Dixie 300. Great driving for the now retired Mark Thompson. Out of Cartersville, Georgia, the Dolphin Technology Sport Cars. Here comes Justin Labonte in the dump in the 0-8 on the inside. Final lap for second position. Labonte on the bottom of the racetrack. Keith is there. Straight takes the victory. It'll be Labonte, Keith, Lust, Sean Robinson, and Kerry Earnhardt. That's the top six on the lead lap. Oh, what a finish. Sean Robinson had the race well in hand until the caution flag. Just eight laps to go, and she ends up finishing in the fifth position. An emotional finish here. There is, there is the champion on the right side of your screen, Frank Campbell, the 2000 Arca Bondo Marhide Series champion. And an emotional day.